Thank Nevertheless, Jackie was impressed with this property, in particular with everything she stood upon. Look at these quarry tile floors. I'm loving this. I think this is original. And there was another treat for Jackie's feet. Into your front reception room. It's not a bad size, is it? High ceilings, which I love. And again, I am loving the floors here, these wood floors. <laughs> Upstairs was the large master bedroom to the rear of the property, with lovely wooden floors and evidence of free wiring. The double glazed property looks pretty new, but some modernising and redecorating would make the property a lot better. bedrooms up here and then Jackie spotted something else she liked. So you've got the bathroom, oh now this looks like this has recently been done. So you've got the tile, you've got the radiator, modern shower, yeah not too bad, this is workable. The person who agreed with Jackie was new owner Chris, who bought the house at auction for £140,000 to add to his rental portfolio. He liked a fast turnaround on his properties, so he had his team lined up and ready to start. Hmm. I got a contractor that I use, they're based in Nottingham, then I will give it to them, they'll come, two weeks maximum, that. Wait. They are already here. Wait, hold on a second. Two weeks? Yeah. To do everything? Uh, they already here, I'll look, I'll look at it, and then they'll come with it in maximum two weeks. He is a busy man with a large rental portfolio and a string of fuel stations that he owns and runs. So with a budget of £10,000, Chris was ready to start his team working on the house. <clears throat> and not two, but three weeks later, we are back. The front of the property has been tidied up and the side of the house now gives this home extra access to the rear. Inside, everything's now looking more bright and modern, showing that a lot can be achieved with a lick of paint and a new carpet. This theme continues through to the second reception area, which is now flooded with light, thanks to the conservatory and the light colour scheme. <coughs> Here's Chris to tell us... Oh, what I see me, sorry. <laughs> Since last time you guys are here, um, I plastered some rooms, new doors, tidy up the garden, check the roof. Uh, I oversee a whole project and especially i say what kind of carpet example the carpet need to go what way we can save money on what we need to change especially we need to change the window we need to change it if you not we try to save it we will save it. that uh, pretty much everywhere from electric to boiler boiler to the bathroom and chris managed to save money along the way he repurposed the kitchen adding a new cooker and some new taps the electrics, like Jackie thought, were all new and he just got certification for them. And what about that bathroom? Bathroom pretty much uh, check all the couple of taps be changing and pretty much tidy the bathroom. Bathroom I didn't pretty much do anything. It looks in a pretty good condition. The three bedrooms are looking clean and bright and boasting new carpets, all ready for the letting market. It seemed the only real issue with this property came down to the conservatory, as Chris had to replace the roof and the doors. So let's find out his overall spend. Uh, my plan budget uh, is ten thousand. Um, I now managed to finish in you know, eight thousand. Wow, a whole two thousand pounds saved. Chris certainly knows how to keep an eye on the pounds. But the question is, how does he turn these properties around so quickly? A couple of things. One, my experience 
and then I had a, luckily had a good team behind me. Uh, then they are pretty much uh, they don't look at nine to five job. They put long hours and finish it quickly. So time to find out what financial reward Chris can look forward to. We asked along a property expert from the auction house that sold the property to give us his thoughts on this speedy transformation. First impressions coming into this property is actually how spacious it feels for a terrace property. It does feel considerably bigger. Uh, it's very well lit. It's got good natural light coming into the, the property. I suppose the one slight drawback, some buyers may be uh, a little concerned about the galley style kitchen. Uh, it may suit a single occupier or a couple, but uh, for a family it might be a bit tight. Well, that may put off a family buyer, but it has never been Chris's intention to sell this place on. But it is always good knowing what, if any, value has been added. So what could he expect if he did change his mind? With an £8,000 spent on top of his £140,000 purchase price, he has spent a total of £148,000. If we were going to put this property on the open market, we would expect to achieve somewhere in the region of £175,000 to 180,000 pounds. Wow, that, that's quite good. But I, I, I was expecting around 160. That's good news. That higher figure would give Chris a pre-tax profit of 32,000 pounds. But Chris was always intending to rent this property out. So what could the rental values be? We would expect good demand from the letting market and I would anticipate a rental in the order of 850 pounds per calendar month and subject to demand possibly as high as £1,000 per current month. <laughs> Rental was brilliant. I was expecting like £700. Uh, that's, a, that's a good, that's a good, good, good surprise. <laughs> That higher rental figure would see Chris make an 8% yield on this property. And for this prolific property developer, even the sky might not be the limit. Um, if I didn't find the right property, probably I'd go and buy a flying car. <laughs> <laughs>